We're going to look at operations on functions, specifically the four basic operations of add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Our two functions in this problem are function f, defined as x plus 3, and our function g, defined as x minus 3. The sum of these two functions, x plus 3 and x minus 3, because of the parentheses, I like to group each function separately. There's really an unwritten one in front of the parentheses, so in addition, you can just essentially let the parentheses go. x plus 3 plus x minus 3, when you combine like terms, you have 2x plus 0, so you only need to write the 2x. In subtraction, you've got to be very careful, and that's again why I write my functions in parentheses, because uh, function f is x plus 3, function g is x minus 3, but when I subtract, I have to distribute that negative sign to both terms of function g. That creates a negative x and a positive 3. This time when I combine like terms, x minus x is 0, 3 plus 3 is 6, and that's my difference function. With multiplication, x plus 3 times x minus 3, butt them up right next to each other, and then we can use the FOIL method, first times first is x squared, outer functions, negative 3x, inner functions, 3x, when you multiply, last terms, negative 9. The two terms in the middle are like, and they cancel each other out. So we're left with x squared minus 9. In the air quotes division type problem for these, you actually don't have to divide them out. We're just going to stack these in a fraction. Make sure f goes on top, g goes on bottom. x plus 3 over x minus 3 is this rational function created from f and g. Domain, that's all the good numbers a function can receive. x minus 3 is equal to 0 when x equals 3. So you kind of have to keep in mind that with a rational function, you don't want the denominator to be 0. When does that happen? When x equals 3. Since the domain is the set of all good numbers, we have to leave 3 out of it. So we have all real numbers except 3. In interval notation, you can include all numbers leading up to 3 and all numbers after 3. This pair of functions, we have f of x equals 3x minus 7 and g of x equals 2 minus x. Again, with the sum, you can just directly write your functions down and add. 3x minus x is 2x, negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. When we calculate the difference, 3x minus 7 minus 2 minus x, remember to distribute the subtract or the minus sign, that's going to be negative 2 plus x. Now we combine like terms, 3x plus 1x is 4x, negative 7 minus 2, that is negative 9. Multiplying 3x minus 7 times 2x, excuse me, 2 minus x, like we did in the last example, we'll put the functions next to each other and use the FOIL method. 3x times 2 is 6x. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. 3x times negative x is negative 3x squared. I kind of did the inside and then the outside out of order, but it's okay. Negative 7 times negative x is positive 7x. We only have one x squared term. Recopy it. We only have one constant. Recopy it. We have two linear terms, 6x and 7x, that's 13x. For our rational function, f over g, 3x minus 7 over 2 minus x. Again, we don't really divide them out, we just stack them in a fraction. For the domain part of this, you find out what creates a zero denominator. Well, 2 minus x is equal to 0 if x equals 2, because 2 minus 2 is 0. Your domain is all real numbers 
except for two. In interval notation, that's all numbers leading up to two or all numbers after two on a number line. In this example, find the operation of the pair of functions. We switch it up a little bit and we have a function defined as x squared, another function defined as 4x minus 3. Now, there are no like terms among these functions. So when we add, it's x squared plus 4x minus 3, and there's nothing to combine, so that's actually where we stop. Subtraction, remember, you have to distribute the subtraction or the negative. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 3, that becomes negative 4x plus 3. But again, no like terms, so that's where you stop. In the multiplication, it's x squared times 4x minus 3. When you're multiplying one term against two terms, you distribute 4x cubed minus 3x squared. Setting up our rational function, x squared over 4x minus 3, that's f of x over g of x, and that's all that's required for this. The domain part of it, you set your denominator equal to 0, solve for x, add 3, divide by 4, x equals 3 fourths. So remember, we can't use that number, but we can use all the others. All numbers leading up to 3 fourths, all numbers leading away from 3 fourths on a number line. And then finally on this example, evaluate each operation. Instead of using x's, we're going to actually insert numbers. f plus g of 3 can be calculated using the values of f of 3 plus g of 3 f of 3 is 3 plus 3, which is 6. g of 3 is 3 squared minus 2, which is 7. The sum of those is 13. f minus g of 2, that's f of 2 minus g of 2. f of 2 is 2 plus 3, which is 5 minus g of 2 is 2 squared minus 2, which is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. And then our product, f times g of 6, can be calculated using f of 6 times g of 6. f of 6, that's 6 plus 3, which is 9. g of 6 is 6 squared minus 2, that's 34. And those have a product of 306.